Celebrity true or false? You can't handle the truth. All right, there you go. That's the production value right there. Um, Luis Guzman, celebrity true or false? True or false? You were once considered for the role of Willie Lopez in Ghost, and your resemblance to the man who got the job and Rick Aviles is so uncanny, people sometimes ask you why you killed Patrick Swayze's character. True or false? <laughs> That's both true and false. Okay, what's the true part? The true part, people really thought I was Willie. Okay. The false part is that they offered me the part. You never had that part offered I to never you. had that part. I never even auditioned. They never even saw me for it. To this day, mm. you and I could be walking through an airport, through a mall, and today, and some, why'd you kill Patrick, Patrick Swayze? <laughs> what was it like working with Whoopi? <laughs> Honestly, if I got a nickel, if I got a nickel, Get out of here. Since, since that began, I probably owned this studio in the <laughs> island, in a couple of private planes, I swear. <laughs> so you've been in so many amazing movies, TV shows, and so many amazing projects, and you get recognized frequently for one frequently. That, you, that you were never in and never right. offered at all. Right, right. Don't ask me how that happened. <laughs> Listen, I was in Detroit one time yes, changing sir. planes. Yes. 90-year-old lady comes up to me, oh, my God, I love you and go. I felt so bad. And I explained, no, no. That was someone else. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, well, what might have I seen you in? And I go, did you ever see The Count of Monte Cristo? So, I love that movie. That was such a great movie. Said, so, well, I was Jacopo. And then she goes, no, you wasn't in that. <laughs> 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 so, so it was from that moment on that I say, you know what? I'm always going to be the guy in goes. I mean, people... Thank you, thank you. Yes, you should say thanks, right? That's it. Move on. That's it. Thank you. I loved you in Ghost. Hey, thanks. It's interesting for the for the ninety year old woman you chose, Count of Monte Cristo. You didn't say boogie nights to her, huh? <laughs> e no, <laughs> nah, that would have been a heart attack waiting to happen. So that's my next one for you, celebrity true or false with Luis Guzman. True or false? You were sent the script for Boogie Nights. But it sat in your office for six months until you uncovered it while you were cleaning up. Is that true or false? That is true. Get out of here. Wow. That is true. Well, you know, I mean, um, I I, did, I didn't know who Paul Thomas Anderson was, of course. You know, he, mm -hmm. he was an up-and-coming filmmaker. And so also when you have five kids and they were small at the time, they take up a lot. So I put it in my office and one day I'm cleaning it out. And I, oh, man, I haven't read this guy's script. I sat down, I read it in one reading. I called them up, the first word I'm, dude, they're gonna let you make this movie? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> because it was out there, you know? And we get into talking, I go, how old are you? And he mumbled something, I go, okay, you're 35. He said, no, I'm 25. I said, what? You know, because when, when I read it, mm. he captured that era. So well. Oh my God, did he? That that movie for me, Luis, is um, what I call a remote drop. It doesn't matter where I am or what I'm doing. I have to just finish it. Oh yeah. So no matter where I'm picking it up, it is an opus. It really is. Oh yeah. That amazing. What was it like on the set? Did you did you feel it on the set that this was a movie like that? You know, we knew. I knew anyway that. I was working on something really special because, you know, mm -hmm. you looked at the cast of that movie. But the moment that I said to myself, wow, was the opening shot of that movie. We rehearsed it the night before. Didn't shoot anything. Right. Got a guy coming off a crane, mm -hmm. running down the street with a steady cam, following Burt Reynolds, Julian Moore, myself, into the club. We rehearsed that the whole first night. Then the second night, we refer we rehearsed half the night. I don't think we got the first shot off till like two, three in the morning. And I think we did maybe six, seven takes. Oh my god. Oh yeah. It was it was at that moment I said, Wow man, this guy has an incredible vision. But you know what? It's credit to Paul Man, he's a wonderful, wonderful, great writer. And a great director too, man. I mean, you know, just just to have that type of shot done. Yeah, right. And then he did the same thing in Magnolia. Magnolia. Yeah. You know, going through the studio to the elevator, 
back up, back down, and stuff like that. It's old school. It really is old oh, school. Yeah. It's and, amazing. And and I appreciate. I believe he still shoots film. Not too many directors do that. Do you got a good Burt Reynolds story that you can share? Okay, Burt, rest in peace. This is the story. So Mark used to kind of try to bribe me into pulling his wig off. Wal- <laughs> Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Pulling Burt Reynolds' wig off. Like me. <laughs> yes. Like he, yes, you would be the you one. Know? Okay. And, and he said, he, he won't hit you, Lou. He won't hit you. <laughs> And it's like, I came this close a couple of times, never did it, never, no, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Mm. Oh, no, 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 a thousand dollars, couldn't get me to do it. That's how much, how is he bribing you? Like with That's money? how much was on the table, plus maybe three, four pairs of sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> that would have did it for me. <laughs> but Mark back in those days had like 300 pairs of sneakers, and we both wore the same size, so... <laughs> So Wahlberg offered you a thousand dollars and some of his sneakers yes. to pull Burt Reynolds' weight and, off, and I was like, "Nah." But and you, I, you entertained and I, it, you and, entertained and, and it. I, I would walk behind Burt and make it like I would, and I'm like, mm, "Nah, nah." <laughs> <laughs> wow. But you know, Burt, to his credit, Burt showed me like a lot of love, you know, and uh, I showed the respect back. Luis Guzman here on the Rich Eisen Show. A couple more for you here. Celebrity True or False, Luis. In Carlito's way, Pachanga's lines were originally written in phonetically spelled heavy accented slang that offended some of the crew members of Latino descent. So the lines were rewritten in standard English and you were directed to improve, uh, improvise some slang. Is that true or false on that front? Yeah, I improvised everything and I improved everything. <laughs> and one of the lines that I that I did was we were doing ADR and Brian the Palmer who directed it. An incredible director. He needed, he, he said, can you say something here? Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's the scene where Carlito's dying. And I, you know, this is after he'd been shot mm-hmm. by Benny Blanco. And I looked at him and I, and I dropped in the line that says, it bees exactly. that way sometimes. But that was a real thing that we used to say in the neighborhood that the older guys would say. You know, if you complain about something, they will look at you and say, it bees that way. So, yeah. But, you know. That was improvised from your upbringing. You brought it to the table. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. That was, that was Louis Guzman, courtesy of the great poet, writer that I grew up with in the neighborhood named T.C. Garcia. Mm. So, Damn. You got a good Pacino story for me. A good Pacino story. Yeah, so one day, you know, we're doing that scene when Vigo Mortensen rolls into the office. Mm -hmm. And so I had to, I had to go from upstairs. Oh, no, I had to, I had something, it it, it was seen that I was downstairs, the camera starts on me. Yeah. And then Al's in the office, he walks out, he's coming down the stairs, I'm running up the stairs. And it's total darkness. You can't see anything. So I think on the second take, so the first time some guy walks by me, I made a second time, the guy's in my way. And I grab him and I push him to the side and said, get the hell out of my way. I got to get up there. I did not realize that that was Al. (laughs) (laughs) That was Al. Get out of my way, dude. Got to hit my mark. And then uh, Al goes, Okay, uh, I'm not going to get in your way this time. So what are you talking about? That was me. Oh my, <laughs> took out. That really happened, you know? Yeah. And, and I got to tell you, when, when you remember that scene when he's, he pulled the wire on Vigo, mm-hmm. and, and, and I was, so I'm standing outside the office, mm-hmm. you know, waiting for my cue to come in. Vigo was so real in that, like I was really feeling bad for this guy and I'm listening to this and all of a sudden it's like Lou snap back into it they get in character you gotta I almost forgot my cue no kidding because I, I was I was feeling so bad about this guy talking about you know he gotta pee into a bag you know he can't <laughs> he can't he walk can't, he can't he can't am I allowed to say this he can't get it up anymore <laughs> all these things you know and it's like and I'm and I'm outside the door. Damn, man, it's 
happening? <laughs> it's bad. Oh, 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 oh. And I got to come in. And then I got to come in. And Carlito tells me, yo, he's got a watch. Why? And I pull out my Glock, my gun. And say, oh, let's take him out right now. So, you know, and, and that's when, you know. So, Love yeah. it. That's so great. <laughs> last one here I know is true, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Because I think you told it the last time you were here. And this is a new audience for us here on the Roku channel. True or false, Luis Guzman, you still have the prop head used in the car explosion in traffic, and you will drive around with it in the passenger seat to freak people out. Look at that photograph. There it is. Oh, yeah. So that's true. So yes, that's- very true. <laughs> very true. Sometimes, sometimes I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in town, and I'm like arguing with it. <laughs> and people, people like will do like a double take. And I'll be, don't, don't get involved. I got this. And, say, and I, I'll be saying, don't you dare talk back to me. Don't. What, you said what? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? You're going to pack up your stuff tonight and you're going to I'm going to drop you off at the bus stop. And then, please, ma'am, don't get involved. I got this. This family here, you know? <laughs> Did yeah, but I do drive around with that. Did you get into the, uh, you know, the diamond lane so you can use? Like, you got two people in the car. You're no, in, we uh, don't. We don't have to worry about no, that in Vermont. No, no. But so you do that in Vermont is what you're saying. You're yeah, driving around in yeah, Vermont. Yeah. yeah. My gosh. There's <laughs> no carpool lane in Vermont. Is no, that not that I know of. <laughs> did Soderbergh give it to you, or did you ask for it? How'd you, how'd you get um, that? I, I think it was both that? because you know what happened was they had that one in case they didn't grab it. You know, on the first take. Sure. They got everything and it showed up. It's still in my closet, you know. <laughs> it's still in my closet. I look at it. Once in a while, I take it out, comb the hair a little bit, you know, do the mustache. You got to maintain. You got to maintain. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Maintain. You know, put a little makeup on it, Fantastic. you know, stuff like that. Fantastic. Again, I mean, just think about it. I mean, I'm, I'm asking you about Paul Thomas Anderson, Brian De Palma, Soderbergh, Tim Burton, your Pacino. current project, Pacino. Burt Reynolds, my God. Um, and then the most you get pegged is for a movie you were in. It. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. You were not, by the well, way. So, everybody, this man was not in Ghost. Just no. back <laughs> off Luis Guzman when you meet him. Okay? And if you ask me if I was in Ghost, have a nickel ready, please. <laughs> have a nickel. At least a nickel. Have a nickel. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.